Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick uh, comparison between lithium batteries and lead acid batteries. Uh, both of them are batteries that you might use in e-bikes or scooters, uh, things that move people around. And the reason for that is that they're both fairly high capacity batteries and they both allow uh, a lot of current to flow without heating up too much. Uh, so here you've got a lead acid battery, and if we weigh that, it's about 10 pounds almost. And if we look at the rating on it, it's a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery. And I, the best way to compare them that I like to do is you look at the watt hours. And that just show, tells you about how much power each one will hold. So 12 times 12, that's... 144 watt hours is what that holds and then this is a 36 volt uh, battery pack it's actually uh, two batteries that I just linked together uh, they're from Hobby King 8 amp, 8 amp hour batteries and they're just 5 cell lipo and uh, as far as cells go all lithium batteries are made of typically you get more than one cell in them in fact even with the if we look at the lead acid battery here it's not just one cell you have multiple cells in there in this case it's sealed so that you can't uh, do maintenance to each of the cells but if you look at your car battery a lot of them are aren't maintenance free and so you can uh, look at the water change it and kind of maintain it uh, but in this case, it's actually a really nice battery that don't have to do maintenance, and it's done a good job of holding its charge. Uh, so this has got cells as well. The nice thing about this, you can balance each cell, and it, it's not only nice, but it's also necessary. With lithium batteries, uh, you need to keep them well balanced. Uh, people tend to think because of stuff like this nickel metal hydrate batteries that you uh, need to drain them but with lithium batteries you really don't want to drain them uh, completely in fact if you could keep <laughs> you want to keep 10 percent at least in there uh, better if it's 20 percent and you don't want to always keep them fully charged and store them fully charged so it's important that that you keep them within a certain voltage and you don't want one cell to be uh, too full and then one to be too empty so that you go uh, below that tw 20 10 percent threshold or you go above the full voltage um, so that's why we have balancing tabs and hobby chargers provide that so this battery's worked well for me but getting down to watt hours it's it's uh, 8 amp hours times 36 volts so that gets you 288 watt hours so if you can believe it, this battery, which you can't, well, well, we'll measure it here. It weighs about five pounds. So about half of the weight of this lead acid battery, and it has twice the power. So for each pound, you get about four times more power from a lithium battery than you do from a lead acid battery. And what I love, well, why I keep saying this is from Hobby King, because you get batteries directly from China. It is a toss-up on, on the quality. I've I've liked these. They haven't uh, puffed out. <laughs> they haven't you know exploded on me. Uh, but you should realize when you <laughs> you're dealing with really any batteries that are high powered, there's the danger of of having them explode, having them short, and so you need to be very careful with them. But quality-wise, these have held up really great. And it's cost me, I think it was about 180 bucks for this. And so the quality to get that that many watt hours, and these are going to have a lot more cycles, assuming that I treat them right, they're going to be able to be recharged more times than a lead acid battery. So weight is a big thing. Uh, the amount of current, I think, is about even on both of these. They both meet the needs that I have of my e-bike. They can... Uh, both put out enough watts and it's not a big deal but as far as being able to recharge the lifetime and the big thing for me is really the weight 
and I think overall it's a better value to go with a lithium battery. Uh, they do have, these are just lipos is what we call them in the RC world, but they have life batteries. And life batteries, uh, they tend to not, they're not as likely to explode on you, which is a very nice thing. So if you are using them in an application where you want your kids to stay safe, then I probably would go with a life battery. When you're choosing a LiPo or a lead acid bas battery, it's the same thing you need to worry about the quality. So like I said, this is a great quality battery. I've also gotten a marine battery from Walmart that was a horrible quality. It's, you know, about twice the size of this. And it seems to be able to put out the same amount of power. Uh, it says it's a, I mean, this says 12 amp hour. I think that's definitely true. But you look at my marine battery, it's supposed to be like 100 or 90 amp hours. And I get about the same amount of running time on this as I do from that marine battery. Uh, same thing with these LiPo batteries. Like I said, these have been really great. Um, but I've been through other batteries where uh, they didn't even last me a year. And so I didn't get those 500 to 1,000 cycles that, that they put on the label. So... Also, when you're looking, be sure to look at the quality of the battery. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Thanks.